Hello and welcome to Effective Parenting Through Handwriting Analysis. And yes, this is that amazing science through which you can raise your children in a much better way. Just by looking at their handwriting, your perspective change completely. That's how powerful it is. For teachers, it's a very, very useful tool to differentiate between children. Generally, we are discriminating, but on the basis of what? But here you will know the children precisely. What are their strengths and weaknesses? Where they stand? And what is it that you can motivate them for? Because they have their unique strengths. And as a principal, you can have a much better control over your school just by looking at the handwriting of the people because your understanding of the complete picture is going to be very, very different. So once again, welcome to Effective Parenting Through Handwriting Analysis. This is AB Kids Life Coach, Empowering Parent, Transforming Kids. If you can see me and hear me clearly, please type in yes into it. And how important this one single as aspect can be. And it is not the letter, right? It is that thing which we are forming between two letters. What we call it? Connection. The connectivity between the letters. How important is that? Right? And what does it mean? So what does it mean when you're moving from one letter to another and you are connecting it? It's sign of your flow of thought process from one thing to the other, how smoothly you are moving. <clears throat> so, so it is that, right? Now in what way you are making it, what's the shape and size? That's very critical. Thank you so much, Mr. Yadav for switching on the video. That's important. You know, you feel you're talking to a human being. It shows people are interested, right? Thank you so much for that. So uh, how you are connecting it, that's the key. In what, what is the shape, right? All that will determine your thought process and few other traits which are there. Now, what kind of different formations which are possible in this? Number one is the garland formation, which is the concaves, concave, right? Then there is another one, which is the opposite of it, the convex which you call an arcade. The third kind which is there is the angular formation. Okay, right? And there are a couple others which we will see, but let's see the most important one, which is a very natural way of connecting the letters. What's a natural way? It's the convex, concave. Your hand is naturally moving in that direction, right? And in that fashion only you connect uh, first to the second letter. So that is the garland type. Your connectivity is garland. You are connecting them from one to another, right? And that's also become the fastest way, the quickest way to connect different letters. Right, the fastest. Now you see the way the curve, the natural curve, how it is being formed. And when these curves are formed, what is that? What does that tell you? Smooth flow, it's a sign of your kind nature. When you are kind, when you are considerate, this is the way you will be make you will be connecting the letters. <clears throat> right? So now in that there are different combinations which are possible in the garland type itself. It can be naturally, right? very healthy type when you see the size, shape, the way they are formed, all in place the way it is expected to be. 
okay they naturally being formed now what is that person is friendly right but at the same time they are likely to be passive and non competitive the really kind people are not they are very pushy they are generally they will have other people's comfort in their mind they not going to be highly competitive but they going to be open and receptive kind hearted which i already told you right then they are going to be shallow garlands so in fact let me go to the screen and share show you how to make it so we have so when we are writing okay you are making a letter right so the letters the size and all that we have already seen today we are talking about this portion how we are connecting these letters right and as i told you basically they are telling you how your thought process is flowing how well you connect that is one thing and how you connect is the other thing so here we are looking at how we connect so this is a formation of that right now what i told you different kind of uh, connections which are possible so number one we are talking the garland type so this is the garland type okay obviously not this one this is like a patila which has come in between you ignore that let me <laughs> go back to it okay and when you make so they are cups con uh, concave okay they are the one which is see the how smoothly the pen is going to move so that shows your kind hearted nature right and then you are also likely to be not competitive which i have already explained to you now these uh, are the one way where you see right they are generally in my case now i can tell about myself they are generally healthy okay normal coming to the baseline almost to the baseline they are almost touching here now in some other case instead of it coming to the base line it is garland type only but not coming close to the base line from above only it is going up that means it's not going to be more or less you can say shallow the cup formation is not complete it's a very shallow formation which is taking place right now among all this is the easiest and the fastest to make we are not even going deep in any case the garland type are fast quick okay and that also you are taking a shortcut so the easiest and quickest to make understood who has one or two raise your hand and even realize that it is perhaps slightly difficult to figure out yeah sumita is there yes sumita let me unmute you wait which one you have been able to figure out then you yes sir um actually the first one the right. concave one i think the garland one is my formation my handwriting formation and uh, one of my niece she writes in the shallow form i've okay. seen her handwriting it's mm -hmm. also a garland form but a very uh, narrow shallow form the one which you are discussing below okay. wonderful yes. very nice so, so i have seen like i've seen the difference between my handwriting and her handwriting her handwriting is also in cursive but the difference now i understand why i feel that her handwriting is different from mine wonderful great yes, great so that's awesome sumita if you can figure out this thing right that yes, shows sir. you are learning things okay sir right and the generally this is not very easy 
for beginners. Okay, sir. Okay, but really yeah. nice. Good. Yeah, Thank you. we have Himlata there. Yeah, Himlata. Good. I think even my handwriting is galanting. And uh, as you told, it uh, represents like kind hearted and non competitive. So I think uh, comfort of other people's with people before uh, anything I do. Wonderful. Exactly. This is how it is. Yeah. Good. So you can relate to it, Himlata, right? Yes, sir. Wonderful. That is great. So, uh, <clears throat> as I said, non-competitive will not be there. And uh, what Hemlata also shared, that first we'll think about others. Right? That's generally the nature. Hemlata, you want to add something? Go ahead. Okay. Now coming uh, to the shallow kind. What happens when the uh, writing is or the connections are shallow garlands. Now, you see, first, quickest, so that means they will have a the, the thought process is not going to be very deep. They're also likely to have lack of concern and are indifferent. Okay, so they are unlikely to step into the zone of that uh, mystical, mystics or deep uh, where exploration is required. <clears throat> now, there is a third possibility, which is someone can have really deep Okay, now this is just the opposite of this. Now, if you talk about garland type, this is likely to be the slowest. So this will also tell you the person will be a slow writer. This is going to be the fastest among these. This is going to be the slowest. And then you are perhaps having a tendency to go deep into different subjects. Likely to explore things. They will contemplate on different aspects. They will have, you know, it will not be easy for them to give up on their materialist things. Thing. They think they are possessing. They're likely to be good collectors. The cup formation tells you. How they keep collecting things. Right? So, among all, this is the healthiest form. And then these two have their own plus and minus. <coughs> now, coming to the next type. Next type is the arcade formation, which is the opposite. Now, if you see, these are they are basically on mixed type, and uh, uh, this is this uh, is moving upward, which is again the natural flow of writing. Can you figure it out? Again, the natural flow. You are writing and you are going against that. <clears throat> and since it is forming that cup, that kind of shield on top, they are likely to be protective in nature. Also secretive. Guarded. And perhaps 
some cases yes there are other factor that need to be looked at look that they are also likely to be creative it's a unique way a different way of doing thing not the natural way per se which is the garland is a natural way the naturally you are moving here you see it requires a, an effort to go in opposite direction you are moving and then you are changing your direction after every letter so this is again going to be a slower form of writing so when you compare it with garland this is going to be much slower because every time you change your direction you are writing like this instead of moving smoothly from one letter to another you change it and then you do and then you change it again then you write the next letter and this is how it is so every time the flow is getting stopped right so told you they are likely to be more protective secretive and guarded in their approach <clears throat> some of them also likely to be eccentric unique way of thinking eccentric if everyone go in one direction they may have a totally different direction to take in their life <clears throat> one thing which i missed let me go to that is that in darland why okay so let's move on to see the next thing now the next thing which is there some people can have anyone seen something like that Yes, same Lata. Where? So my daughter. Daughter. Yeah. Okay. So you will get to know your daughter today. <laughs> right. Now see this. What is it telling you? How much of effort it is taking? Right. So every time you are making a letter, then you come here, then you go up, and you make next letter, and maybe something like this. I don't know. I I can't make so uh, I'll not be able to correctly explain how they do it. But every time you are changing the direction, and changing the direction means it takes efforts. Right? It's not an easy thing to do. Simple. that you just decide no it requires a lot of persistence now i am just thinking push is required okay <clears throat> now what is going to happen firstly these angles are sign of sharp mindedness generally intelligent people sharp mind okay but it obviously require excessive efforts so that leads to stress discomfort and this is just the opposite of garland type where the hand is moving very smoothly right so here actually if you see grammatically or geometrically rather you know this this shape is opposite of this so this is concave this is convex these two are opposite but frankly speaking when you are writing you are writing in curves so they are moving smoothly here it is not that smooth movement you are changing direction every time the angle is getting changed it requires extra effort causes stress discomfort but you don't care for that you get so used to it it runs on your system and now 
even as a team leader, you are unlikely to think of others' comfort. Unlike this person, if I have people in my team, other the team members will be on my mind. Yes, I'll be thinking about work. Right, so that is that is that is there, but I will also be thinking about <coughs> team members, their comfort, both the things. For this person, the comfort will come last. It's all about work. I'm going to be very pushy. They will not care for okay. Kam huani, that's all. That is their concern. Always pushing things, stressful, anxious. And the more the angle are there, the more it is going to be. The sharper the writing, the sharper the, is the tendency for that degree of the factors which I have told you. Right? Ya Himlata. I think you are right. Like uh, she is very sharp-minded, and like uh, as you told, she always requires a push to uh, think of others' comfort also. To think of comfort of other people also. Right, right. They are likely to be very goal-oriented. I don't know how. How old is your daughter? Yeah, if she likes particular things, if she enjoys particular thing, uh, given. any time any moment she will just try to finish that thing like as a child i have seen if she when she started skipping skipping rope she didn't give up unless she got it okay otherwise she is very easy going on everything but yeah she is goal oriented if she likes something she won't leave it until and unless she finishes that task but and you mentioned this thing as a team member in a team when she works uh, she will see that everyone is doing their work up to the mark and she won't leave any of the team member without finishing that thing so mm. she is very good as a leader team leader okay great very good as a team leader that depends okay the team member will only tell <laughs> so wa Team member, team members are not going to enjoy. They are not going to be happy per se, right? But yes, because she will be going for uh, completion of task for achieving the goals. As a team, they are going to do really well, right? Obviously, other factors remain. But as far as this is concerned, she is going to be so uh, goal oriented that she is going to be really pushing people. So that's how it is. Then. Uh, <clears throat> so uh one thing which i saw in if you see i don't exactly can do it no not this one just a minute i saw someone signature like this all angles lines up down up down up down up down has someone seen can someone uh, has someone else seen a similar signature obviously it's very different from what i have drawn i am no way close but i have just told you how it is it's all about angles and lines going up and down and up and down all about that who has these signatures similar on these lines donald trump always anxious stressful not at all caring for the team member all that matters is the targets the objective always pushing no surprise he's been a such a, a high achiever why because what matters is the goals the targets 
It, it comes at the expense of the team members perfectly fine. It's an order. Right, but never relaxed. They're going to be highly aggressive in nature. Okay. Irritated. Plus, at this also, they're likely to be quite decisive. Samantha, your hand is raised. Anything there? Yeah, go ahead. Sir, I think I've seen a person who's having a zigzag kind of a handwriting. Uh, so the things which you are telling that, uh, yes, he is goal oriented. Yes, I've seen that. And the team members are never happy with that person. That also I have come to that uh, motion. And yes, their comfort comes last. Even their own comfort comes last. They are not looking after their own health also. Mm -hmm. This has been a vision uh, thing. And as far as the arcade formation, which you are talking about, I just wanted to see an example of arcade formation because I'm not able to relate to any of the handwriting which I have or per se I can think of. So that is why I wanted to have see an example of arcade formation actually. Don't worry, we'll see it in due course. Okay, sir. Right. Even I do not uh, come across arcade writing uh, very often. Okay. Mostly what you see is the uh, garland and uh, which I told you angular, right? Arcade, right? You have to act. Uh, okay. So let's, I'll, but I'll show you arcade type of writing. Okay. Let's see it later. Yeah. Himlata, you wanted to say something? No? Okay, fine. <clears throat> let's move on. Move on to the next one, which is the so difficult for me again to make it, but I'll just try. Hello. I have to stop drawing. Interesting. Stop drawing. Can you see my pen moving on the screen? But nothing, yes. it's not it's not writing anything. AB, I think eraser has been selected or white color. You need to change the color. No, I done all that. Yeah. See the color is now selected is uh, yellow. Okay, maybe then you can uh, remove and reconnect. No. Good. It's not obliging now. Wonderful. AB, uh, maybe you can use screen share and uh, whiteboard. You can use screen share and whiteboard. Yeah, just uh, disconnect this, go on screen share, and there will be an option of whiteboard. So what, what is it I'm doing now? Whiteboard is a share. Karo. 
अभी तो आपने वो लगा रखा होगा ना पैड राइटिंग पैड व्हाइट बोर्ड पे ही तो कर रहा हूँ अच्छा ओके सो यू रिमूव द वाइटिंग राइटिंग पैड वो दोनों करके देख लिए डायरेक्टली भी ड्रॉ करके देख लिए स्टार्ट करते हैं एनीवेज चलो वर्बली इंटरेक्ट कर लेते हैं यार एन एन नोट यू कैन डू एन एन नोट इफ यू वांट हम्म चलो लेट्स लीव दिस एंड मूव टू द नेक्स्ट थिंग व्हिच इज या मैकुल क्विकली इंट्रोड्यूस योरसेल्फ यस टेल मी प्लीज हाय सर माय नेम इज उदित नकुल आई एम इन कंस्ट्रक्शन इंटीरियर बिजनेस आई लव डूइंग फोटोग्राफी फिल्म मेकिंग इन दिस काइंड ऑफ सेट्स and uh, i had learned uh, the art of handwriting uh, way back i understand little bit of it so uh, now i would like to share one thing like my son writes in a very sharp uh, thing like that you were telling telling us right right sharp arrows arrow sort of formations don't show me that just tell me what is your question so uh, i would like to ask you what is is this is it this arrows are same as uh, you were telling us right now what arrows Uh, like sharp writing, connecting the words very in a very sharp manner. So when he when shape sharp. See, okay, when he is connecting it, that is that is what I am talking about. So it's the connecting the letters. Yes, very sharply. Okay. So uh, okay, so let me add one thing here. Firstly, what you are making at the starting, right? that is called a starting yes. stroke and right. connecting the letters is different so what you are making between letters and the start and the end so there are different thing so end and start right so start and end it will confusing for me as well start and end they are starting and ending stroke what i am talking about right now how you are right, connecting sir. the letters that is the connectivity the in between part is the connect that portion so that's what i'm saying okay so i'm also talking about the connecting letters so that is what i said angular connectivity so all the angular connectivity which i have said is about that yes right do so you agree with the observation generally yes. which is there What is your what are your views? What I've just told you the characteristics. Focus. No, what are your observations? So that's how I'm trying to understand. I will uh, study little more and then uh, I will get back to you for that. No, no, this particular thing when we are talking about. Yes. How old is your son? Uh, sir. Is eleven years. He is eleven years, right? Yes. So some of the things which you do not agree with what I have shared, the goal orientation or uh, the the pursuit of goal might not be there. Yes, sir. Right? He doesn't have any goal. He is eleven year old. He doesn't have any goal, right? Correct. Yeah. So he is generally careless that. about things. He is careless. He is careless. Yes. right so firstly keep in mind it's a complete picture yes. right now you are looking at just one element of it okay right his personality is a complete writing and we are just talking about one single element right now yes these are his inherent traits he doesn't have a goal is a separate thing but what is this generally right. how it is likely to be this is how he is likely to be what will define his personality the complete handwriting not one trait right 
Yes. Okay. So don't get confused about it. No, yes. there is a mismatch here. Mismatch for the reason that right now perhaps he is being dominated by other factors which are there. <clears throat> yes. Okay. But by nature, how he is likely to be? Sharp angle means the person is so it's, it's sharp minded. It's yes. You know you are stressful because the sharp the sharp angle which are coming likely to be anxious. Now anxiety may also lead to goallessness. It may lead to confusion. Somewhere they will get connected, right? But you have if you have that clarity overall, then you will just go for it. Okay. So that will be the key thing. You cannot uh, ignore that particular thing. And once you right. decide, like what uh, Himlata said, that her daughter, once she's clear and she likes that, then there is nothing stopping her. But obviously, something has to proceed. The, the girl has to come to that stage. Right, sir. Okay. So overall, it's the overall complete personality, the handwriting. And right now, okay. we are just coming, uh, we are covering individual factors. Right, sir. Thank you. Right. Okay. So, is that clear, everyone? Anyone, any question? Yes. Yeah, Sumita, go ahead. Sir, so I have one sample in which there is no clarity of the curve, actually, what I'm realizing. Sometimes there's a garland. Sometimes there's an opposite thing, uh, like the convex thing I'm noticing. And sometimes there's a zigzag in it. There's not a clarity in the curve only of the cursive. Why right. so? Like the person is confused. Like what kind of a nature that person must be having related to that thing? Like if there's a formation of three different completely three different aspects. Somewhere there is a concave, somewhere there's convex, and somewhere there's a zigzag also. Got it. Yes. So you tell me now, what kind of personality is likely to be? I don't know, maybe a bit of a kind, a bit of a goal-oriented, a bit of everything, I think so. Unpredictable. Um, okay, yeah. Unpredictable. Okay. You cannot define that personality. Yes. At least based on this particular factor. Yeah. But the person himself doesn't have that clarity. Yes. Right. Somewhere, sometime like this, sometime like that. Responses yes. are going to be different. Sometimes yes. the person becomes very kind. Yes. Other time become very protective. Yeah. And uncaring. Right. So the confusion so is there happens. in the mind. Yes, sir. Sometimes goal oriented, sometimes confusion about the goal, sometimes anxious, sometimes so, non anxious. No. So goal oriented, when you say it's unlikely to be, goal okay. oriented cannot be sometime. Ki itni si writing hai, uske andar beech mein suddenly goal oriented ho or suddenly ho gai, no. So, wo to See, that person, that. I'll tell you what happens with that person, what I have realized that. That person keeps very short-term goals. Cannot keep very long-term goals. Mm -hmm. I don't know uh, if that means something about the handwriting. Very short-term goals. So that, like everyday yeah. goals kind of a thing. Even in the workspace, what I've realized. So that will you will come to know from uh, middle zone. Okay. Yeah. Is this predominant middle zone? Yes, it is predominant. Middle zone is predominant, so that's how yes. it is defined. Yes, it right. is predominant. Yeah. Kushi, where are you with your video turned off? She's also gone to background. That's wonderful. She's traveling. Okay. Wonderful. Right, so uh, is that clear, Sumita? Right. Sure. 
ठीक है सो नाउ लेट्स मूव टू द नेक्स्ट वन व्हिच इज थ्रेडेड सो व्हेन यू से थ्रेडेड इट मींस व्हाट ओनली थ्रेड्स आर देयर समटाइम इवन द लेटर्स विल गेट कंप्रेस्ड एंड दे विल बी इन द फॉर्म ऑफ थ्रेड्स simply one thing tying the another other right one thing tying so all these things are being tied together by this thread middle zone is basically getting compressed writing becomes illegible there may be some form of dishonesty possible okay and they are unlikely to communicate clearly but yes at the same time they may be intelligent sharp you know a quick thinker now since the middle zone is not there so day to day activities they may not be that much concerned fast communication is there communication may not be effective but may be fast right So this we need to study. Uh, I haven't studied too many uh, threaded writing. Whatever reason, though, I have done number of analysis. This is one. That we'll see. So, Mita, if you can get one such sample, we'll do that. Okay. Now, coming to disconnected. When the letters are disconnected, then what happens? What does it tell you? this again i think we have talked earlier also and i'm uh, again i'm going to repeat but something very very important connectivity is a very important part when it comes to your uh, how smoothly your thought process is flowing so one thing to another how well you can connect the dots if you get into thinking mode uh, how easily you get distracted do you go into dream zone सपनों की दुनिया में तो नहीं खो जाते राइट दैट्स अबाउट कनेक्टिविटी नाउ दिस इज व्हाट वी आर टॉट टू अस इन कर्सिव राइटिंग सो कर्सिव राइटिंग विल सी आई विल कवर इट सेपरेटली द डिटेल्स ऑफ कर्सिव राइटिंग द प्लस एंड माइनस ऑफ इट एंड इट्स ब्यूटीफुल इट इज समथिंग व्हिच विल टेल यू वेयर स्कूल्स आर गोइंग रॉन्ग विदाउट रियलाइजिंग एंड इन फैक्ट वन केस केम अक्रॉस वेयर आई सॉ अ चाइल्ड वाज नॉट इंटरेस्टेड इन गोइंग टू स्कूल used to cry a lot reason where we found in the cursive writing okay that will see some other time but right now sticking to this you see the thoughts are getting connected it's flowing smoothly right and we are taught in cursive writing to connect 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 but you will see there are some people who pick it up some don't and some pick it up and then later leave A lot of people, you will see that way. You are forced to do that, but after some time, the moment the force is removed, they are back to their own ways. So basically, what it is, your thoughts are connecting, which is a positive thing. But that's the positive about cursive. Then they are asking you to connect, right? But one of my own friend, very good, intelligent friend. He, I was discussing this aspect with him, and he is doing extremely well in his life. Okay, but this is where his pain point came out. So he asked me, "What is it?" I told him. I explained to him, "Wow, this is that's a very good thing." I said, "That's a very good thing," but you are missing on one simple but very very powerful thing in your life because your all letters are connected. That means there is no space for creativity, out of box thinking. 
everything is logical when you give a break in between you are giving space for unorthodox thinking right now you are just going by the book you are not taking a pause in between allowing that space time in between for some other thought to creep in from somewhere no it's all logical and he was shocked and he said yeah that's so true yeah this is one thing i truly miss right so when you are making long uh, especially writing long words i gave you the example of tangible eight letter so if eight all eight letters are connected it's a sign of that but if you give a small space in between it's wonderful so also you know you you also likely to be intuitive with that space in between right so that's that's the power of it which we need to understand <clears throat> okay so that's about protectivity now let's set this uh, point here and move to the next part of this which is discussion yes anyone any question any uh, views comments nya sumita go ahead yes sir i know a person like uh, when in his, the childhood uh, like he was told at one point that he has to start now uh, doing things in cursive and he tried he tried a lot but now at this stage like i told at that time at one point if you are not able to if you not comfortable do whatever you want to do if you are comfortable with prints do like that if you are comfortable in cursive do like that i've told that person so what i've seen that person has started writing in prints but what he has done he writes it so closely that so that the person the other person doesn't come to know ki uh, it is not joined okay he writes it in prints like if it's a word they he write t h e y but it is so close the e is so close to y the h is so close to e so that the other person doesn't come to know that he is not writing in print uh, in cursive so, so what does it show <laughs> what does it show and you would like to take a shot at that what does it show what can it show yes anyone so what does it show see what is the reality that it's in print that it is not connected yes right it is in print okay but what he is showing that it is a form of cursive yes so we have an intelligent student with us masking the reality the reality is something and you are showing something else yeah you likely to deceive okay now deception can be of different you know level different degree yeah right okay so but that's how it is you will find even young children at time doing that yes you will have to have a very fine you know experienced eye to find that actually the way they will do it they will not have the connectivity but somehow they will show right they maybe they will overwrite and you will not come to know it's overwriting you will not come to know anything it's another stroke which has come so they are trying to cover it up so basically by that you come to know this there is an attempt to cover up something okay get that so that is something a slightly something different what i have told you but still connected okay there is an attempt to cover up all right so so what kind of nature then that person will have like will uh, that person try to deceive at every point or will he try to hide like he'll show that i'm doing something but in reality he's doing something else 
Okay, Sumita, so uh, one advice for you. Based on your learning here, at least at this stage, don't conclude someone is likely to deceive. Okay. Okay, that is the worst thing you can do. Okay, sir. Uh, I've been telling right from the word go. Yeah. Let's not That's conclude true. the negative traits. Okay. For anyone. But can we work on it for that person? Yeah, you can work on it, definitely. Okay. Can be worked upon, that's not a problem. But, right. right. So, uh, I've been telling you guys that what you're learning here, please do not use it to judge someone. That is the worst thing you can do to that human being and to yourself as well. You may be totally off the mark. And unnecessarily, you will, you will carry. Uska to jo nuksaan hai hai, that is one thing. The negativity you will create in your mind is going to harm you more than that person. So for a handwriting analyst, it is very important that you become non-judgmental. And say that the person is perhaps, uh, you know, uh, deceptive in nature and yeah, that tendency, that is definitely strict no-no. I'm telling you before I conclude, I do multiple checks and rechecks. Multiple, not on single thing. Okay, so for you guys thinking like that, kindly just don't do it. And don't use it handwriting for that handwriting analysis for that purpose ever. Okay, yeah, Jakpreet. Uh, I was very much concerned with the uh, cursive writing because uh, I tried a lot to join my letters, but beach me a other letter me hamisha chunchada. I don't know why. I consciously tried also, but it was not happening. It's been so many years, right from the school days, I used to try cursive writing. So, cursive writing, who are looking beach me a letter, two letter to chute guy. So, I was very upset when you said goal oriented and all starting with. The last picture of the Mona Kitika Chalo creativity, scope for creativity, intuition. So, Mizalaga Chalo Kika, I should not make more effort. The tangible word I had written last time when you uh, said, or Mira Pura uh, was joined, only I and B were gap hoga. And my consciousness was joined for the Nikiti, then I and B did not get connected. Maybe the way I write my B, to see that I like you, cursive, and a B, and a Nikiti. But I had tried also when I was uh, in school, I had tried to change my letters D and B, but wo fir baad mein nahi hua. so now I know why. What is the observation? Is that correct? I think so, it is correct. You think so? Yes. Abhi sir, bahut sikna baki hai. So abhi jitna samajh mein aaya hai, I think it's correct. No, no, this particular thing that there is a gap, uh, is that correct? Yes, yes, yes. One or two letters uh, are not joined. It's not getting joined. Right. So otherwise it is joined. It is cursive. But eight go letter join nahi ho rahe. So, uh, so don't don't curse yourself now because of that. Not you're not getting completely cursive writing. Okay. So it's it's a good thing. It's a positive thing. That's that's what we are made to think, right? Unfortunate part. Yeah. Uh, Nakul, you had a question? Yes. Yes, sir. Sir, uh, I saw a handwriting where the first alphabet is not connected with the rest of the alphabet. Like, okay. if, if there's a word, the first alphabet will not be connected, the rest of the alphabets will be connected. Okay. Right. And is there a... Uh, uh, the gap which is there between the first letter and the second one, is it more than the usual? That problem is also there? Yes, sir. That is also there? Yes. I'll tell you what it is. So, see, when they are connected, it is showing the thought process is flowing smoothly. Now, immediately after the first letter, that means you are starting and then you are stopping. Okay? Because the, now, because there is also additional gap which is there, unwanted gap. So suddenly you might be getting lost. Getting that? 
yes, sir. supposed to be flowing smoothly from one, two, two, three, four, like that. But now what's happening? You start, and after that, suddenly you get lost. You go off the track, and then you come back. But other letters are connected, so thereafter, it's again you are back on track. Getting that? Yes, sir. I, this is a very unique thing which you have shared with me. But I've seen a number of cases where uh, you know children will write. Uh, they they have good connectivity, and then suddenly big gap comes. But this is very unique where you have shared that first letter, only the first letter, then there is a gap. So uh, I could I could uh, you know uh, think in terms of there there should be a gap uh, wider than the average. So that is perhaps the reason why it is coming. So at the outset you are getting distracted, but later on you get yourself back on track, get focused, and start working again. Got it, sir. Who is writing in that? My wife. <laughs> so <laughs> we have to be careful. <laughs> and. What about the observation? So she is also in the class, so I think I should not speak about that. <laughs> okay, what's her name? Saloni. Where is she? Is here in the class? Yes, sir. With you? Yes. No, my she is on another mobile. What name? Your Saloni seven four. No, there there are two Udits A B, so there are two okay. people from the same name. Achha, okay. Achha. Okay. she has already heard you if you if you need that uh, spg protection uh, we can provide you thank you sir <laughs> there's extra services we give <laughs> um sir um, i would like to add one thing i think i've seen the thread like in writing of a person maybe a doctor and like uh, his initial are b and r so what that person does he writes a b the b is very clear and then it's a thread thing And then there's an R, and then there's a thread thing. Come again. Like uh, you said, na in thread, like in writing, one thing is tied. Where are you going? We are. We were talking something else. Suddenly you have gone off. <laughs> no, no. I was talking about okay. the handwriting part. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You raise your yeah. hand. I thought that you know you're saying something related to. No, 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 no. I'm not talking hold about on. that. So there are the people who be in Cuban. Okay, let me go one by one. Sumit. Uh, morning, sir. Good morning. Yeah. Uh, sir, uh, in one of the papers which I have got, I uh, taken from one of my colleagues. I am seeing uh, the connections are not actually uh, like uh, either arcade or like Garland. They are more like very very straight. What I mean is, uh, let's say the E, the small E. After E, you have to go up. It is a straight line going up. Or if it is, let's say, any letter where it is starting, let's say with R or something. it is almost a straight line it's neither curved upwards nor it is neither concave nor convex so mm -hmm. i was trying to correlate and uh, like you said when connection is shallow so shallow garland is thought process is not very deep there's a kind of indifferent but this is very very straight and the guy seems to be nice to me <laughs> whatever i've seen of him uh, he seems to be nice means acha badhiya colleague so not much of whatever like things like I don't think he is indifferent or he has lack of concern or all those things. Basically, as you understood, sir, most of the lines are straight. Most of the connections are very very straight lines. Whether they are slanting up, slanting down, or they are horizontal, they are all straight lines. They are not curving any way. Slanting up, slanting down means most what? of them. Uh, sir, like uh, let's say from E you have to go up. You have to go to B. So after E ka end, there is a straight line going up. Uh, it's a slant line. and then it goes to and runs to b okay so then you cannot say it uh, you know flat or it is not garland type you cannot compare it with shallow garland yes sir not sir, they, they are not garland, garland like let's say after l yes sir, sir after l if e is there let's say after l there is e so it is l ka end straight line almost parallel to your uh, the line in you the book no, no. and then after going to e right so you missed that so it's going to be straight line right but how is it going from l to e that is the point that you need to see 
is it angle sir is it curving from there it is going straight line or what obviously it has to go it has to go in the form of straight line acha you are saying basically the, the place where l is ended from there how it is whether it is a junction kind of cross kind of thing or whether it, exactly it is a curve okay Okay. Uh, then it then it will be. Well, obviously, it will be slanting up, slanting down. That is bound to be like yes, that. Sir. Then it is probably it will be. Then it is kind of a shallow garland. I can say then. That's how it needs to be. Kind of yes, sir. Kind of a shallow garland, sir. Uh, sir, I had one more question that is not really this class. So maybe I can ask this later, or if you want, I can ask it now. Yeah. So we'll take it uh, towards the end. Aye, sir. Okay. Good. Yeah, Ratu. good to see you now you again becoming regular yes ha uh, ye ek cheez puchni thi actually jab uh, like main jab bahut fast fast likhti hu ki mujhe time nahi hai aur bahut fast likhna hai to us waqt uh, like uh, my handwriting is ki cursive nahi hoti hai but uh, jab main apna uh, slowly slowly i used to write तब मतलब बहुत कम वर्ड होते हैं जो उसमें कर्सिव में आते हैं मतलब एटी परसेंट नॉन कर्सिव हो जाता है उल्टा चाहिए उट बींग बट समहाउ आई फील कि जब वो गार्लेंड्स वगैरह बनते हैं तो उसमें स्लो हो जाता है मेरा वेट 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 राइट सो दैट्स व्हाट वी नीड टू एनालाइज लिसन फर्स्ट राइट सो अभी जब आप उठा रहे हो डिस्कनेक्ट कर रहे हो बेसिकली यू आर रेजिंग योर पेन इट मींस दैट राइट एक तो देखो आप कोई काम कर रहे हो यू आर डूइंग इट विदाउट टेकिंग अ ब्रेक सो यू लाइकली डू इट फास्ट Then there is another one who is doing the same work. थोड़ा सा काम किया, फिर break ले लिया, फिर काम किया, फिर break ले लिया. So that is going to delay things. It's logical. It's logical I'm talking about. So the things are likely to get slow down when you are raising it again and again. Raising, then bring down, then bring down. This is the logic which, which is telling me. In your case, it's the other way round. You say when hmm. you are writing fast, then uh, then you are giving that break, that gap. Not non-cursive. Connectivity is not there. Now we need to understand why it is likely to happen. So I am just doing the analysis. I have not seen your writing. You do it yourself and think if it is right or how it is. Then in that case, where the problem is perhaps or may not be the problem, but you can find a better word for that. Is that when you are connecting maybe you are spending more time so how you are connecting in what way ek to smooth tarika hai what way you are connecting those letters which is delaying it rather than making it faster you yourself are subconsciously you are thinking you are slowing down because of that yes so you know it subconsciously you are slowing down because of the connection hona ulta chahiye What kind of connections they are? <clears throat> Now think in terms of connection everywhere, not only this. But these things apply everywhere. <coughs> Got it? Think about it. Right now, I'm not getting into writing, but uh, we'll see it someday. Okay. Or maybe maybe you share the writing uh, in the group. I'll have a look at it only for this particular aspect. Why it is there? Okay. Okay. Let me analyze. That's an interesting thing which I'm. So both handwritings I have to send. Even I write in a fast. Okay, send both. Yeah. 
okay. or you send where you you are uh, connecting so that's what i need to look at not when okay. you are when you are not connecting it doesn't matter i know it you are not connecting mm. right so the problem or the challenge is coming when you are connecting and you are knowing subconsciously even otherwise that you are slowing down because of connection which is contrary to the logic in life like jisse connect hona hota hai to within seconds i can connect aur nahi hona hota to usme fir kafi time lagta hai ah to something you are you are complicating things somewhere somewhere you are complicating things which should not be now look at in your life also is that is that happening so i'm not saying it is happening i'm concluding i'm not concluding apne ko nahi lagta re to wo dusron ko lagta hai don't mind it right but hame kai baar apni na problem dikhti nahi hai hame lagta hai we are doing in the perfect way which may may not be the reality yeah okay so look at it and and it doesn't mean necessarily that the same thing is happening in your life also it doesn't mean got mm. it so i just a thought came to my mind maybe that connectivity is applicable otherwise but otherwise uh, it's not necessarily this is what handwriting analysis say okay so <coughs> so i can totally connect to the uh, this thing when you disconnected uh, when we were discussing i was concerned about my daughter's in writing again like uh, in any word then she's writing there is a space between the first letter and the remaining letters so i can definitely connect to what you say that she's easily being distracted when she starts something she get distracted mm-hmm. she will think her own time and then after some time she will finish her task easily so i could uh, definitely connect to what you said so but then i have one uh, similar question in different way uh, in other handwriting what i have is like all the words in the letter are connected then there is a gap between the last letter only this is a common trait in one of my known relative the there is always a gap between the last letter okay so the whole word one and only the last bit letter there is a gap wonderful so what does it tell you very beautiful uh, i didn't get what does that mean yeah anyone <coughs> nervous 90s are that okay ha huh? getting nervous just when you are reaching close to the target okay sir right you're getting this like different it. thoughts are coming to your mind you know, the, the possibility depend on you know uh, looking at how big the space is and other thing uh, you might be getting flooded with thoughts different kind of thoughts and likelihood okay. likelihood of negative thoughts okay likelihood you may also be going into dream world okay i can connect that uh, that person is always full of thoughts and probably get nervous by end of any task right but just before you know at the closing stages the person is yeah, i could totally connect to it sir thank you wonderful wonderful that's how powerful this science is 